Another area of Max that can be very nice to be able to customize is the quad menu. So I right click to highlight a viewport, then right click again to bring up that quad menu. So I like having move, rotate, and scale here, but I also like having the align tool available here. By default in Max, that's not there. So I want to add the align tool to my quad menu. So if I go back to customize user interface and then go to the quads. So I see there are the four different quadrants of that quad menu. Well, normally, I'm going to add it right down here in the bottom right corner. So move, rotate, and scale. I want to line right in there. So right over here under action, I need to find the align tool. And I want just align, the standard align tool. I'm just going to drag that right over here and drop it right below scale. Actually, let's drop it below placement. All right, so now I have a line. I can do that with any of the tools in here. I can add them to different menus as well. Here I'm adding them to the default viewport quad. So you can see here the other quad menus. You can even have your own custom quad. All the different quad menus can have their own custom attributes. So if we close that and then I take a look at my viewport now, I see a line is available. So let's say, let's click on our Taurus here. And I'm going to right click hit a line and then I'm going to click on the oil tank below it. So then I can align on position X, Y, and Z. We can go minimum on one and maximum on the other, but maybe I need to go center on one of these because its pivot point is in one edge. So the pivot point's not really helping me here. So I can also align the orientation. So it will write the donut. So it's no longer rotated in the view, or its rotation will at least match the rotation of the oil tank. But that didn't really go exactly where I wanted it to, so I still may need to use my viewport here. Or I'm going to have to check with that align tool and see if we go center and center. All right, that actually does line it up very nicely. So if I just turn off Z, then maybe we just have to move it up just a little to get it where we want it. So that's definitely matched up nicely. The ability to customize these quad menus is incredibly helpful. Really, it just comes down to the fact that the quad menu is right there wherever I right click. So it's efficient and being able to customize it and add tools to it that I use frequently is also very helpful and again, very efficient.